In this tutorial, I wanted to show you the new healing brush inside of Photoshop CS5. You've probably heard all about the content aware features that are available now in CS5. And it's not just content aware fill for, for filling larger portions, but there's content aware fill for the healing brushes as well. So let's go and have a look. I've got this image open here uh, that I shot in a church at Oregon. And because it was during an organ recording, there was a lot of cords going. Cords and cables everywhere. And there are a couple of cables that we just couldn't remove. Now, this one is just a little soft. But, as you can see, there's this cable going right here. And I couldn't remove it while shooting. So I thought, well, this will be a simple job in Photoshop afterwards. Well, this was back in February when I didn't have CS5. And so this took a little while to go ahead and do with the clone tool to, to get this out, but let me show you how much faster this is in uh, Mount CS5. So when I select the spot healing brush here, we've got content aware here. And content aware here allows me, instead of the old proximity match and create texture, allows me to use the new content aware features here. So let's just go ahead and, and drag out. And pretty much instantly it's gone. Now, it needs a little work. I'm going to turn on this one here. So I vary on my sides depending on how hard I push on my tablet. Because I am using one right now. And as you can see, if I draw here. Let's do one here. And I can do shorter bits here so I can get rid of this. So pretty much I'm getting rid of of the cable little by little and I may need to clean up some bits but again this is a very good start so if I now go ahead and move through here you can see that it does remove it and you you don't really notice that much of a trace when you're done so now this is a bit complicated up here Let's just try making a little blob here. Now, this definitely needs some cleaning up. So, if I zoom in more, I may, I may have a good, I may be able to go in here and, and do this very easily. I may need to take, since this is on wood, which has got different colors here and different textures, I may need to go ahead and fire out my brush sizes here. To, to get rid of this cable in the best possible way. Especially up here, and I may need to resort to some cloning because it doesn't really know what this is all here, but it does a fairly good job. So you can see if you, you have some hints that there's actually been something here, but if I clone out the shadow here, and if I do the floor shadow too, now this probably isn't gonna be that good. Let's try that again like this and you as I said you may need to rework and work at this again and again but the level the quickness in which you can do things now is stunning and I can even remove some of these post-its which were left on the floor here now as before and after I should probably done this on its own layer now but I mean it's it's hard if, if you see it at distance like this there's no you don't have much hints that there's actually been a cable there. If you zoom in, sure, at this distance I could probably spot that this is something that's been cloned out here. But for being such a quick, very quick and easy method, the new spot healing brush inside of Photoshop CS5 with the content aware option is absolutely stunning and makes work go so much faster.